Hiya, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this juice pouch um, clutch bag. Um, it's no sewing involved, just use duct tape and the juice pouches. So you open it up, I've used velcro to close it. There's plenty of room in there to fit your mobile phone and purse and things. So it's just a nice little simple project to make. First of all you get three juice pouches, you need 11 all together. And we're going to tape these together. You can use duct tape for this, but I think it looks a bit um, cleaner and nicer if you just use clear tape. So you grab the tape and you put it halfway over the edge of one of the juice pouches, like this. And then you overlap it slightly. You don't need to overlap it by much. Onto another one and stick it down. Make sure it's stuck down nice, nice and firmly. You don't want any air bubbles or anything in it. Flip it over if you've got any excess and just fold it over. And then you're also going to tape the back as well just to make sure it's extra strong so nothing gets caught on the overlap. Okay, like this. And then you just stick the other one onto the other edge. I literally just overlap the silver bit, so it's, you only need a tiny bit like I say. You just stick that one together as well. Okay, so you're going to need to do this three times. So you've got the front, the back and then the flap. And then next we're going to make the bottom. So all you need is one juice pouch for this. Because you obviously don't want to bag that thick. You just fold it in half. Make sure it's all lined up properly make a crease straight down the middle and then we're just going to cut along this crease just use a normal pair of scissors or you can use your exacto knife if, if you like okay so just straight down the middle and once you've done that we're going to take these two together now these ones you don't need to overlap just make sure they're directly next to each other doesn't matter which way around you put them or the top parts face and all the bottom parts face them as you can say, see, this should be ever so slightly longer than your juice pouches and um, the, the three stuck together. And you can trim those up later. Okay, so you need a piece of duct tape that's just over twice the length of um, the bits you just cut up. So you just cut that off. And we're going to use this to attach them together. Okay, so you want to grab one, put the duct tape halfway across it, so we've got half the duct tape on it. Push it down firmly, turn it over. And because this isn't overlapping, we want to just line it up this way first, and then push it down to make sure the ends are lining up, and just fold over the two sides of duct tape. And this will hold it in place. If you're using like a different brand of duct tape that isn't dark, you might want to wrap around twice because some of the other brands aren't quite as good at holding it down. Okay, so next we are actually going to attach the bottom to one of the sides. So for this you need a long bit of tape, the length of the bag, and you want to cut it in half down the middle. You can rip it, but it never comes out properly when I rip it. <laughs> and cutting it is usually a bit neater as well. Okay, so you take off one of the halves. And you're going to be placing it on the back of the juice pouches. So this is the three that are stuck together. This is on the back, and you want it along the bottom part of it. So along the bottom, again... Only putting half the duct tape along the bottom. Just place it down. Turn it back onto its front again so you can see where to line up. Because again, this isn't going to overlap. If you overlap, you, the bottom won't fold over nicely. You just line it up and press it down on the duct tape. 
and turn it over and then push down make sure you get all the wrinkles out and there's no air bubbles okay so then you turn it over and we're going to use the other bit of duct tape to go along this foldy bit to cover it up you don't want any gaps so just place that along obviously where the juice pouches meet then after this you just trim down the sides so the bottom's the same width as the side of the bag and then just fold over the bottom just to give it a little crease sorry the camera went blurry there and then after that after you trim the sides you're going to attach the next part and again you want it facing the other way so you're taping along the bottom again and just do the exact same as you've done previously okay so what you end up with something like this so you've got the juice pouches then you've got the bottom then you've got the first lot of juice pouches you've done and then using the same technique just add your third one straight onto the first lot you've done sorry if that sounded really confusing I'm confusing myself here so when you fold it up it will look something like this as you can see that's the flap and they're all facing up the right way so just to clarify that again you want three juice pouches that are upside down the bottom then face in the normal way and then three upside down again that's what it looks like when you've laid out flat now we just need to trim the rough edges now so along this edge the bottom of it and this side you want to just tape duct tape along the side only have to be half the width again and then along this top edge of this one Okay, so this is what it will look like once you've done that and the only thing to do is add the sides now so again you need one more juice pouch again cut it in half and we're just going to tape this to the side like that and then we'll tape the, um, the sides to it okay so first of all you need a small bit of duct tape that's the width of the bottom of the juice pouch cut it in half and again we're going to start from the back of the juice pouches working with the back of them sorry my desk is a bit small it kind of got a bit confusing here <laughs> okay so again put the duct tape halfway across the bottom of the juice pouch then face them the right way up and just line them up you want to line this side up with the bottom of the bag so you just press it down and then press the duct tape down on the back and then you've got it again don't overlap them just line them up because that way it folds up easily okay so now you need more duct tape you want it the same length as the um, juice pouch this time Again, halfway across the side of the duct tape and you just fold it back this is a bit fiddly you fold it back and then at the same time you fold it over so it lines up with the edge of the other juice pouches this can be a bit fiddly you might have to try it a couple of times but once you've done it push the duct tape down make sure it's stuck there firmly as you can see it's all lined up so it's like at a right angle there shouldn't be any gap in between the juice pouches and just do the same with the other side when you go to put the second side in that's even more tricky but once you've done it a couple of times you'll get used to it okay so for this second bit it's even more fiddly again just put it on halfway 
and fold it back on itself again. And then slowly lined it up. And you're nearly done. Okay, so again, once you've done it, press down on the duct tape, make sure it's all secure. So you don't want to fall on apart. And once you've all the duct tape on the inside is nice and secure, we're going to add some more on the outside just to clean up the edges. Okay, so you grab the piece of duct tape from earlier. Sorry, my voice is going now. <laughs> and you just want to tape it along this bottom edge. So again, halfway across, you want to half the duct tape on the side. Sorry, it's gone off camera a bit. But then, and then you tuck it under the bottom. So it's giving it a nice clean edge. And then you need more duct tape for the other two edges on the outside. You just do the same for that. And along the top of that side as well. Okay, and this is what it will look like after you've done it. The side doesn't fit down, um, the top doesn't fit down properly. So what you do is you basically just fold the sides back in half slightly so it's like an expandable then you fold down the top and this is what your bag's going to look like and all you have to do now is add some velcro you can either add a couple of little bits or a full strip of velcro along the bottom I prefer the little dots because I think they look neater okay so basically what you do is you take one end of it one side of the velcro. If you're going to use two, just stick it in the middle of each of the end juice pouches. Or you could just put one in the middle. Okay, and so the other side lines up. What you're going to do is you're going to take the other bits of velcro, the opposite sides of it. You're going to take them and then put them directly on to the bits you've just laid down so they're stuck together already and then we're just going to fold this flap over so you know the, um, the velcro will line up when you want to use the bag okay so you just lightly press it down just enough for the velcro to stick and then you carefully pull it up you don't want to pull the velcro off and now you can push it down a bit for more firmly so it stays in place just do that to all the bits of velcro and that's it it's complete and this is what the inside look, will look like and everything so have fun making your own hopefully you can understand this okay I know I got tongue tied a bit not used to talking to this much <laughs> okay if you've got any requests feel free to send them in Thank you. Bye.